Hi friends, so today's pour is inspired by the rarest element on earth, naturally occurring um, element on earth, astentine. It is actually a byproduct of um, uranium and thorium um, um, decaying. And um, so it's said that a spoonful of or, or like a gram like a gram of astentine it can be worth as much as 25 billion dollars and it's because it's um it's naturally occurring but in very small amount in one place and so it's it would be super uh, difficult to capture a whole gram full but um and so but the reason why i am um inspired by it is um this image that um is in uh, the book called the elements a visual exploration of every known atom in the universe um and so i got this book when i first discovered um chemistry and how marvelous and magical chemistry is and i'm i'm just in awe of these elements and so anyhow so um, the image that I think is super awesome is on page 186 and is for um, element 85, Essentine. And it's kind of like a, a fluorescent green with um, tinges of like um, yellow that I remember being a yellow um, now I see that more like a white, but I know it's like a yellowish. And so I'm going to try to recreate that um, sort of mix um, by utilizing this um, extra paint that I have from my pour for the St. Patrick's Day um, as the base coat for my, my next pour. Um, so again, um, this is leftover stuff from uh, St. Patrick's Day, but... Um, the idea is to cover this completely with green so there's a green background and then i'm gonna pour um greens with lighter lighter greens like um using more like the color shift um green from uh folk art i'm also going to be using um gold to be mixed into the greens um so yeah, so I'm hoping that um, I can get close to it. Obviously, um, the images that are in the book, they seem like they have like um, squares in the middle, and I'm not going to be able to capture that. Um, and I, I imagine the square part is because um, they're like somewhat crystallized. So, yeah, but um, um, it's okay, um, nonetheless. So here, um, once again, uh, pouring in my cup, all greens, um, different shades, and some, uh, some gold as well. The gold should help me. Um, and then, of course, a little bit, a tiny bit of, of yellow. Um, but um, so it should help me. Um, get to this the well this is the image that I'm kind of going for it's again it's like a, a background of green with yellow above it and um, I'm gonna see if I can get this is a tighter uh, look at it um, so let's see if I can get anywhere close to it so here I think I'm done uh, pouring my cup and now let's just do a street pour um, I'm hoping that the street pour will give me those um, the little wiggly things that sometimes depending on how I tilt it I might be able to keep in the form of like a little square maybe hopefully not a square but like more like a rectangle above this darker green so so that's the idea and um, I'm lucky I'm liking what's happening so far now let's just go ahead and tilt and i'm thinking this is one's go this one's gonna go pretty 
pretty fast since um, I'm just looking for the above part of the piece, whereas the base coat base coat is um, the green in the pour. So now I love the feathery um, aspect of this. And under normal circumstances, I would love to keep that. But um, in this case, I just want the hint of those lines. And um, yeah, so let me see. Let, let me. Okay, so I'm going to tilt from one corner to the other corner, not the opposite. Um, so that I can... Um, try to begin to cover the canvas without actually going over until um, I cover most of it and then I can see more or less how much paint I have left because I didn't put a you know like the whole cup um, because I did have a base coat um, and also because I was okay with keeping that base coat as negative space so I have plenty of uh, paint. Now that I see that I have plenty of space, then I'm going to go ahead and begin to tilt off. I would love to keep some of that uh, lime green, which I think is the color shift green by Folk Art. Um, I like to keep more of that in my pour. So um, first, let me see if I can um, compress the lines a bit because they're kind of too big so if I can compress it a little bit and then I'll turn it around and go the other way um, oh no <laughs> so yeah so I, I keep finding nuggets every so um, often and so like again this is what I'm looking for and let's see if I can um, Can compress this enough to give me more or less that look I don't know I think I think I, I think I'm pretty close to it I mean pretty close to what I want so what do you think I think it gives that feeling of of astium now let me take you in for a close-up um, so I, I think this is going to dry. Um, the underneath is going to dry pretty dark blue, but because of all the color shift green on top, as well as the gold, I should get um, an Astentine looking um, uh, piece. So yeah, so we'll see how it dries. I'm going to try to show you the dry results of this one because I'm super interested in trying to get as close to it as I can to element number 85 um, Astentine, which like I said is the rarest naturally occurring element on earth and um, this piece is actually really pretty I do like it a lot um, and I'm hoping that it speaks to the rarity of this element and it really the rarity of the element as well so now um let me take you in for a close-up of this dry piece um and as you can see um it is uh fantastic definitely you get the sense of this fluorescence and it's super shiny and yeah it's kind of a stunner and definitely in terms of uh, doing justice to representing the rarest element on earth um yeah it, this does it super beautiful now here's a another look at the reference photo so the little square pieces um i think show sort of the crest crystallization and i feel like these lines and uh, movement um, do represent the little rectangle uh, crystallization represented in the pore. Let me take now, you in closer. So this um, is super exciting. It um, it 
the dry results look or give me that that uh, feeling of fluorescence um of acetine and so i'm excited because um it kind of tells me that i'm getting a little bit better at being able to control the composition and so yeah who wouldn't be excited about that and look at this fluorescence um obviously i still have a lot to learn but i'm excited that i am learning as i go so i hope you like this piece um like i said it's um astentine is the rarest naturally occurring element in the world and so it makes this super mysterious and i like mysteries like i love this little bit doesn't that look like like roots of a tree or like something like that but overall look at the shimmer now again i did um and then like here the fluorescence there looks kind of like the wing of a um dragonfly or a butterfly um so it could be like a little fairy yeah it kind of looks like a fairy see like the bodies there and then the wing but again this is an estantine inspired pour so maybe not so many fairies in there okay i love it what do you think well i hope you liked it and i do want to thank you for um, watching my video and also prefer providing feedback um i learned a lot from what you have to say and if you have an idea on what you like for me to pour let me know i might be able to do that as well thank you so much